In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of models and manipulators in subsurface utilities. I'm in a blank design file here, and if I go to my models dialog, I can see there's a model called default, and it's a 2D model. Generally speaking, you'll always place subsurface utilities objects in a 2D model. So let's use the place node tool. Because I haven't used a subsurface utilities tool in this design file before, I need to click yes to create the relevant data in the design file. Now if I click place node again, let me pick a feature definition. Now I can either type in an elevation or I can select a terrain model. I'm going to reset to type in an elevation. We'll just place a node using um, an elevation of 100. And set a rotation. If we have a look at what we've got here, we can see there's a grating and various uh, graphical elements. If we look at our models tab, we can see that we've actually got two models now. The 2D model that we placed the node in and a second model, a 3D model, has been created. Now, depending on where I pick, if, for example, I pick here and you can see from the tooltip that I'm picking a, an object in a reference file, you can see that I don't get any manipulators for the subsurface utilities node. If, however, I pick on a different graphic, I do get manipulators. Now, by default, subsurface utilities will display the 3D model in the view of the 2D model. So if I go to references, we can see here a model called default 3D is being displayed. If I toggle display off. Now I come back to my um, graphics. You can see that now I'm only seeing the 2D view of the node in my 2D model and picking will show me the manipulators. A couple more things to be aware of. When a conduit is connected to a node, it's connected in the position um, of the connection ring. So here we've got a circular connection ring, which means a pipe or a conduit can be connected anywhere around it. Now, if you pick the connection ring, again, you don't get the manipulators. Now, if the connection ring is getting in your way when you're picking, one thing you can do is go to View Attributes and toggle off constructions because the connection ring is a construction class element. And now, wherever I pick, I will get the manipulators for the elevation and the rotation and the move node. Another thing to be aware of in element selection here, there's a, an icon for disable handles. If I toggle that on, again, I won't get manipulators. Toggle it off and I do get manipulators. And finally, the colour for the text of the manipulators is set in Workspace Preferences, View Options, Civil. So if you're seeing a blue colour, which is a little difficult to read on a black background, then Workspace Preferences, View Options Civil is the place where you can change that colour. To see the 3D view of our node, we can open another view, for example, View 2, and go to View Attributes. And the model that we want to look at in this View 2 is Default 3D. So if we choose that, fit the view, and go to an isometric view, we can see our 3D node there. And I can change the render style and the lighting to suit.